this. All right, so first of all, what kind of prep do you need to make something like this work? Because you just said you have two film crews, and mm-hmm. you as a director, basically just, you're basically shooting a play, essentially, because you're just kind of like, yes. You organize everybody, you tell everybody what to do, the actors are pretty much on their own for those 70 some minutes. You can't stop and redirect their performances. Let's take a step by step. First on the technical aspect, sure. what does it take to do this? Um, first was finding finding locations. I knew going back home would be would be the easiest way to do it. Making films in LA is expensive. There's no way around. <laughs> uh so going back home to Canada, to Windsor, where I've had a lot of, I mean, I wouldn't have a film career without that city being so gracious to me. All of our catering was sponsored, had amazing deals on hotels for out-of-town cast and crew. Like I said, a college basically gave us the keys and allowed us to come in for 20 days of rehearsal and shooting, would let us leave lights up so that we didn't have to redress every night. So we kind of had, while the actors were rehearsing for 10 days, uh, we our gaffer and crew could be pre-lighting. And what we would do is we would film every rehearsal so we Mm. could put a rough assembly together every night. We would just shoot at uh, regular HD at 1080 on the cameras and we could slap together a rough preview. And then the team would watch it every night and make lighting adjustments, performance adjustments for the actors, sound adjustments, would have those 10 days of, of tech and performance rehearsal and then we had four days to shoot the movie. So it was, it was shot at night. So our goal was at, um, I think, midnight was our start date or start time. We would roll the whole thing, have lunch, roll the whole thing again. So our goal was to get eight complete takes and then choose the one that was the film. We ended up with five complete takes, one disaster take, and two other times where we just said, we're not ready to go again, so let's not exhaust ourselves. Let's come back tomorrow and just try harder tomorrow. What was the disaster take? What was what made it the disaster take? I'm just curious. Uh, I have a clip on my Instagram. It's it's uh, because because I knew that somebody eventually is going to try to call us out and say that we didn't truly shoot it in a single take and we must have hidden cuts. Uh, I had multiple GoPros rigged to each camera rig so that we could we could document the entire thing and uh, my camera assistant who was do, uh, running all the behind the scenes stuff had rigged the GoPro just a little higher. I had an easy, like, so I camera operated one side of it. My, my DP Seth, Mm -hmm. um, did the other, but we had easy rigs, but the clearance that I had leaving a bar at the beginning was like maybe an inch Mm -hmm. and the GoPro was rigged slightly higher than that. So about nine minutes into a take, I'm going to leave the bar and the GoPro just catches it. So there, there's me screaming the F word as loud as I can that, that I, that I, uh, I, put up on, on Instagram because I just ultimately it becomes a very funny moment, you know, like, not at the moment, yeah. but afterwards, no, 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 in the moment it's like, ah, oh. yeah. Cause that just drains everyone's energy and you're like, oh, we got to start over. And, and the reset process was, was still Brutal. tedious. But what, what worked out in my home city is the college, the bar and the apartment. Those are our three main sets. We're all within like a two or three city block radius of each other. So we could base camp at one location. Originally we were going to use, um, like a, an actual call center, but it was on the other side of the city. And if we were driving 15 miles between locations to, cause what we would do for rehearsal is we would rehearse sort of the one character, the, the woman, the janitor, uh, played by Sarah Booth. We would rehearse her side for six hours on a day. And then we would move over to the apartment and the bar and rehearse his side of the story. And we would do that back and forth until we kind of had it down pat. And then we would actually split off into the two crews and, and start figuring out how long it was going to take. And, and we just, you know, we're, we're working on a very small self-financed indie budget. So we, we, those were the days we had, there was no way to add an extra day if we needed it. We just, we had to get it in those 14 days. Uh, but sometimes just setting those restrictions, you know, most one take music videos I have, it's like show up that morning, figure it out. And we have to have it shot by the end of a 12 hour day. Mm-hmm. Um, so the pressure, the pressure I'm used to, but uh, it was, not to say without its its challenges. <laughs> mm-hmm.